Hi and welcome to the channel. I've been asked some questions about the Blue Yeti's microphone cable, and since I needed to find a new and longer cable for my own Blue Yeti, I did quite a bit of research about that cable. So this video is based on what I learned. So let's dive into the details. The first question I got was, what type of USB cable does the Blue Yeti microphone use? The Blue Yeti uses a USB cable that has a mini USB connector at one end and a standard USB A connector at the other. The cable must be for both charging and data transfer. If you accidentally just get a charging cable, your Yeti will not work, although it might light up. The next question is, does the Blue Yeti need USB 3.0? Now, if you don't know what USB 3.0 is, you can identify those ports on your computer by looking at the colour of the inside, which should be blue for USB 3.0. However, according to the Yeti manual, the Blue Yeti can work with a PC or Mac computer that has USB 1.1, 2.0 or 3.0 ports. So you can, and I often do plug the Yeti's USB cable into a USB 3.0 port, since the standard is backward compatible. Next up, a question I've frequently been asked. How long is the Blue Yeti's USB cable? Well, surprisingly, that's a fact that I can't find anywhere on the Yeti's packaging, and even the downloadable Yeti manual only says that the Yeti connects to your computer with one simple USB cable, but it doesn't mention the length. So I got the tape measure out, and it's about 6 foot or 1.8 meters long. The next question is, where does the USB cable plug into the Blue Yeti? The USB port is on the base of the Yeti. If you tilt the mic forward, it's here on the left that you plug in the mini USB end of the mic cable. Now, the final question is, will a Blue Yeti work if connected to a USB-C port? Well, yes, it will. But obviously you can't use the mic cable that came with the Yeti. You'll need an adapter, and I've got a video that shows how to connect the Yeti to the USB-C port on an Android phone. I'll include a link to that video up there. Now, if you don't want to use an adapter, you can replace your microphone cable with a USB-C to mini USB data sync and charge cable, which will provide the power to the Yeti and allow the transfer of audio data. Again, I have a video that shows that, and I'll also include a link up there. If you're looking for a replacement cable or a longer cable as I was, check the description for a link to a list of some cables I've bought, tested, and I'm happy to recommend because I know they work. Please like, share, and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. It helps me make more. And to make sure you don't miss any, hit that notification bell. Finally, you can find in-depth articles on my website, diyvideostudio.com. I'll put a link in the description. I wish you well and look forward to seeing you again next time.